Greetings everyone, the Goods of Night here, and today we'll be reviewing the HSGI Slim Grip Battle Belt. Now, before we get started, I've got my plate carry on for one very, very important reason. Behold, the Slim Grip and the Battle and the Plate Carrier do not fight each other. They get along just fine. No uh, grinding or rubbing or anything like that that you normally have with a larger battle belt. So yeah, pretty fantastic. That being said, we go ahead and get this plate carrier off and I will cover the uh, more important aspects. Ugh. Okay, now free of the burden of a plate carrier, there's a few different things. Interesting to note about said uh, belt. Ugh. Let's tie this up a bit more. So I've got mine going with a Cobra belt. Uh, this was a CO shooter Cobra belt underneath, the Cobra buckle and everything. That's going on top of my normal belt on Kreis. Got our drop leg. Now this one is a small, and I'm arguably relatively fat. I probably could have gone a size larger, but... And uh, the only downside is you would normally want your uh, slotted loops here to have at least one in the front here. So it is just going to bend and fold when you crouch and everything, so... I've got this one out of the way so that the uh, Safari Land mounts properly and comfortably. I'm still a little chubby. I'm working on it, okay? And then behind that we've got this uh, shotgun shell pouch, which might seem a little odd, but in the event that I'm only running a belt, the key thing here, grenades. Always want grenades. And then, uh, let's see, so we got an open spot here, there's some shotgun shells right back here for, well, the hell of it right now, but in case I want to put glow sticks or anything, chem lights. My favorite dump pouch in the entire world actually fits on this belt. And, uh, yeah, so we got a BDS battle belt, and then we've got our handgun mags. Nice left out of the way so I can crouch without interference. And the front's pretty standard now. On the inside here, there's your HSGI little leather tag. And the important thing to note is that this belt is, as you can see from back here, only two molly wide. I actually can't see. You guys can see, hopefully. But yeah, it's only two molly wide. Because it's designed mostly for uh, HSGI tacos and the like, so... Fortunately, 5.11 gear is generally made so that you can weave between a double and set in. So, as with this pouch and everything, it's all set through the double, and then it just kind of picks up on the back area. Whereas normally you'd have the double space, like the, uh, where's my explanation? Boom, so normally you'd have more of a double space set up, like with this BDS holder, so there's no space here. If this was available, if they had put extra molly here, you'd be able to skip the second one, so you can have the first two go through, and then it's it. It wouldn't be terribly secure that way, but you will be able to mount these on there. But you can't, but, as I demonstrated, most importantly, is that if you're a shorter guy like me, so around, what, 5'9", so about 69 inches or so, you can, uh, you can wear this battle belt out of the way. It's only slightly larger than your normal belt, as you can see, not terribly larger. And with only two molly spaces, you can fit a BDS dump pouch, which is ultra baller. You can put a moral tag on that. You can get to carry your pistol mags. You can carry some uh, some bangers, some nades, some stuff to make your opponents rethink their life. Or just shotgun shells and more fast action shotgun shells and shotgun shell like it's cool. Or uh, yeah, so you got some options. So here you can go, you can go handgun. Well, really just a handgun if you're running really light. And as soon as you're out, you grab an extra mag, pop one, pop two. Load, dump, back. Or faster reloading ways, whatever your preferred <coughs> style is. My voice is actually starting to go because I've been talking all day, so... <coughs> There's the slots are all each set separately, so they go by rows of two. So you can double one thing in here. You could skip a few if you want to put something directly mounted to the belt, like a K-bar. But generally with the two, this is actually three wide. And it fits kind of weird, but since it doesn't, it's not going anywhere is the important thing. Because with it sitting on 
one of a double and then on another piece of another double that kind of bends out of the way so it's it's a little weird so things to consider if you're using something with a triple like an IFAC or a shotgun shell pouch like this one or anything too, too crazy but it all sort of works out in the end so pretty awesome very much enjoyable all of my stuff that I need for close quarters combat is available here and then I can get everything else mounted on my plate carrier just fine so let's go ahead and put that back on so just, uh, Let's see one more time here. This goes here. This part comes up. Mounts in there. And yeah, so we're actually pretty comfy. Everything's readily available. And again, no crazy interference. It's, oh my god, I kid you not. So I had the uh, the older version with the uh, sure grip, which was three wide and then a ton of extra space for a. Uh, Padding, that's only meant to be worn as a battle belt because that came up to about here and all up in this rear section it rubbed all over the plate carrier it was out of control so now I can actually use this and get access to everything mag dump pouch so there you go yeah so everything works phenomenal now is really the key takeaway and yeah my I was right, my voice is really starting to go so yeah, to call the video here. If you have any questions, you want to know any bit more, all I can tell you so far is this thing is incredibly comfortable. Actually, I might as well get it squat for you, get down here. Now, the other issue I had with the older belt, since I wore it low enough to not interfere as much, it sat kind of loose. Now, with the shirt grip, the belt's not going anywhere. Go ahead, go prone. Do some push-ups, roll around, get all sorts of uncomfortable, and the belt is exactly where we left it. No adjustment or fixing the fanny or anything like that so hsg hsgi whatever you want to call them boom gnarly i like their stuff so check it out it is uh well about as much as the h the sure grip was anyway so actually i think it was a bit more but slotted and it's smaller and it's fantastic so it gets my recommendation so far and i will be wearing this on sunday so we'll only have more things to say about it then hopefully good so hope you guys like the video and uh cheers stay chivalrous never forget